hello guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to learn about the soil profile so what is soil profile a soil profile is a cross section through the soil which reveals its origins it has its own meaning and function Soil profile is a vertical exposure of horizon sequence is termed as soil profile. The profi soil profile is an important tool in nutrient management. Horizon are usually distinguished from one another by color, texture, structure, chemical properties like salt, pH, salt accumulation, etc. Then there are some components of the soil profile such as solam, regolith, elevation, elevation. So what is solam? Solam is the uppermost wither part of profile includes O, A, A E and B horizons. Here we can see a soil profile and uh, here is the part of O. O horizon, A horizon, E horizon, B horizon, C horizon and the solam is the O, A, E, B that means O, A, E, B totally known as solam. Then regolith. Regolith is the unconsolidated mantle of wither rock and soil materials on the earth surface including O, A, E, B and C horizon. That means um, solam is O A E B and uh, regolith is O A E B and C. That means solam plus C. Solam, solam plus C horizon is known as regolith. Regolith. Then uh, elevation. Elevation means removal of soil material from the upper to the lower horizon in solution or in colloidal suspension. Then elevation. Elevation is the process of deposition of soil material removed from one horizon to another horizon of soil, usually from an upper horizon to a lower horizon in the profile. Then alluvial horizon. Alluvial horizon means soil horizon from which fine material has been removed either in solution or a water suspension. Then alluvial horizon. Horizon that has received material in solution or suspension from some other part of the soil. Then soil monolith. Soil monolith is a vertical section of soil profile removed from the soil and mounted for display or study. Then topsoil. Topsoil is the uppermost uh, part of the uh, soil ordinarily moved in tillage, frequently de designated as plow layer. That means uh, upper portion of soil profile that is O and A horizon. O and A horizon is known as topsoil. Then uh, subsoil subsoil and the part of the soil below the plow layer uh, the B horizon sometimes are uh, referred to incorrectly as subsoil that means um, O and A horizon is uh, topsoil which is plow layer and below the plow layer uh, E and B horizon is the uh, subsoil so O, o and A horizon uh, topsoil and uh, E and B horizon subsoil. Then master horizons. There are five master horizons in the soil profile. Not all soil profiles contain all five horizons and so soil profiles differ from one location to another. The five master horizons are represented by the letters O, A, E, B and C. So O horizon. Uh, the O horizon is a surface horizon that is comprised of organic material at various stages of decomposition. It is most prominent in forest areas where there is the accumulation of debris fallen from the trees. Here you can see the O horizon is organic horizon, O horizon. Then A horizon. 
a horizon and the a horizon is a surface horizon that largely consists of minerals like sand shield and clay and with appreciable amounts of organic matter this horizon is predominantly the surface layer of many soils in grasslands and agricultural lands that means um, we can say that a horizon is a mineral layer of soli uh, uh, horizon that means a mineral a minerals horizon is no uh, a horizon then e horizon e horizon is uh, the e horizon is a subsurface horizon that has been heavily leached leached leaching is the uh, process in which uh, soluble nutrients are uh, lost from the soil due to the precipitation or irrigation the horizon is typically uh, light in color it is generally found beneath the O horizon. That means uh, uh, leaching horizon. Uh, leaching horizon is E horizon. E horizon means leaching horizon. Uh, uh, from here, um, removal of uh, soil suspension occurs from this horizon. Then B horizon. B horizon the B horizon is a subsurface horizon that has accumulated uh, from the la uh, layers above it is a site of deposition of uh, certain minerals uh, that uh, have leached from the uh, uh, above layers above that means uh, uh, B horizon is zone of uh, accumulation and E horizon is zone of leaching John of leaching is E horizon and John of uh, leaching is B uh, John of accumulation is B horizon B horizon is John of ac accumulation then C horizon C horizon is the uh, uh, is a subsurface horizon it is the least weather horizon also known as the saprolite it is unconsolidated loose parent material here we can see C horizon and last one is um, R horizon which is bedrock so uh, these are the uh, master horizons um, five master horizons of uh, soil uh, profile then uh, what are the importance of uh, soil profile uh, such as it helps to determine the best soil suitable for agriculture it identifies the part where plant nutrients can be found that is the top soil is the richest part of the soil then it also helps to determine the level in which water can be available in the soil a loosely packed subsoil will reduce erosion and soil runoff the nature of the parent material will also determine the type of mineral salts available to plants so these are the importance of soil profiles and uh, so that's all about the soil profile um, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.